guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i want to talk about the stuart weisman nudist song ankle strap that i got recently so without further ado let's get started okay guys uh, so i have my blue box here um so this is the stuart weisman um shoe box that came with the shoes um i ordered them online a few weeks ago and i wasn't planning to buy anything i just happened to be on their website and i happened to see that they have this 30 percent sale event going on so i just went on to it and then i saw this beautiful black uh black leather ankle strap available in my size and um i was so lucky to be able to purchase them and then have them mailed to me because it was purchased during the covid 19 time um i was in um I was expecting it to be very slow in terms of shipping, but I ordered them on Friday. Sorry, I ordered them on Thursday night. So there's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I got them Monday afternoon. So surprisingly, the shipping was very fast, which is something I wasn't expecting and it was really good. Um, the only thing is when I got the box, um, I don't know like the box itself there's so many it's it's obvious that this box has been sitting on a warehouse shelf for a long long period of time because there's an obvious wear on the box itself and the packaging I don't I don't know like the whole thing came in a plastic bag I don't know like it's it doesn't it doesn't feel as luxurious to me as some of the other brands like Christian Louboutin such as um, Manila Bonique like I don't know like it's it, the, the shoes itself the shoe itself is seems to be good quality but I just I'm just not so impressed with the way that it was delivered I don't know like after I open the box so you will see like you know some receipts um regular tissue and then the shoes so it's not something that you will feel wow surprisingly luxurious especially when you compare to christian louboutin and manila brandnik this is um stuart weissman's definitely i don't know like maybe that's why they all they were always on sale and i would recommend you guys to wait to buy them during the sales event instead of buying them retail price um but anyway let me um talk about the shoes so this is the shoes it's the matte black leather um 105 millimeter um i didn't go for the i think it was 12 was it 12 uh, 12 120 millimeter there's a higher Hill available in this type of style but i went with the one that's that i would like this is the height that i'm most that i'm most comfortable with and i can wear this height to work no problem um and if, it, if the shoes is comfortable not enough i can do it uh on a shopping day too so i like the quality of it it's full leather and it's black color and it goes with goes well with my wardrobe um the only thing is when i buy them and i have worn them out for a couple of times i notice that if you do not have the um the bottom um i don't know protected it's it is very smooth at the bottom that it came with so it's very easy for you to be slippery if you walk on some kind of smooth surface so i have walked in this hill in my office in my company and it's very slippery and it's very loud for some reason um so i had them um, um the the sole protected um and hopefully this will help um with the grip when i walk in them um in terms of the sizing, I think they are true to size. Um, I have a very particular feet. I have very wide feet and also 
Um, it's, so it's very difficult for me to find the right size with the wide width. And what I really like about the Stuart Wiseman is that they offer you, I think, was it medium, wide, and I think they're small available in terms of the width of the shoes. So I picked, this time I picked the, the wide width and I am so happy because in the past, this is my first time buying a Stuart Weissman shoes. And to be honest, I was very scared, scared to, um, to receive them because after I placed the order, I started to do research and, and do, uh, do more in-depth reviews on it. And I realized a lot of people are complaining that the shoes are not very comfortable. That's number one. And number two, here, this part here, it's very tight. That's what a lot of people say. And that to me is bad because when I go into a regular shoe shop, such as Steve Madden, usually what happens is the, the, the length of the shoes will fit me, but the width of it is usually too tight that I cannot fit in. So I have to end up to go up a size. So my size is 37. I usually have to go up to size 38 in order to fit into this part. Um, when I, after I read the review, I was so scared. Even though I know I chose the white width one, I was so scared because I realized that this item is going to be final sale. And yes, it's 30% off. And even, even with 30% off, this is like a, a couple of hundred dollars. And I, I really, I hate to waste my money on something that I don't wear them. And I was so worried, to be honest. Um, after I received them though, I tried them on immediately. So surprisingly, this part fits me perfectly. But if you are somebody who's like, who's got a normal feet, who's got a relative smaller feet, I would say go for the small or medium width. Um, you don't need a wide width. But to me, wide width really fits well and it's been it's been perfect both the the length and the width fits my feet very well and that's usually very very hard so um i am definitely going back to buy more pair of this type of shoes in different colors just because of the width and the length now in terms of comfort um i would say that this part here it's like i think it's just it's it, there's no cushion in it there's no cushion in it at all. And so I would say when I first had them on, it's not, it's not as comfortable as some of the other, some of the other shoes. And my plan is to maybe put a cushion here to make it a little bit more comfortable and see how it goes. Um, but other than that, I don't find them hard to walk. Um, especially now I have them protected like this. It should be good. Um, I I am a little bit concerned with the the back here because it looks like it's gonna get dirty very easily and um, I don't know I just love but I love the style of the shoes and in terms of the the size of the strap like I think you cannot find anything that's as that is as as thin as these ones like it's hard because if you go to steve madden or outdoors you find similar very similar strap sandals but you don't find them to be as thin as these ones and i think these ones may that's that's the reason why these these shoes look more like sexier i don't know like i like it i love it and my plan is to buy more in the future and um yeah, this is going to be my first video um, in t uh, to talk about these two old wise men shoes. I'm definitely going to do a follow-up videos um, when, after I wear them more. But I have worn them for a couple of times now and so far I really like it. And um, that's it for the today's video and I hope you guys like them. Give me a, give me a thumbs up for, for doing this and um, I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.